Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So you guys, I'm going to start stuffing my cash envelopes um, for the month of February. Now let me tell you that I had some changes. The first thing I thought I would do is I would try, you know, a lot of people say, Shakima, don't keep cash, right? The only cash that I ever get out of the bank is grocery money. By the time you've seen this video, I've already spent grocery money. Um, so I thought, hey, let me give this a try. I'm going to do something a little different. So instead of getting cash out for grocery money, I actually went and got gift cards, right? So I got gift cards from the credit union. I went to the state employees credit union. And I got four gift cards because there are four Wednesdays with $75 each on each card. Here's what it looks like. It looks like this comes from the credit union and then inside of each card is the card itself and then instructions on how to activate it right because it's not pre-activated you have to call and you've got all these things you have to do so I got four of those I've already been to the grocery store with one of them so week one groceries have already already been purchased and that leaves week two, week three, and week four. The other money that I got out, which I usually put in this one, is for um, summer groceries. So, of course, for those of you who are new to my channel, I only work 10 months a year. I don't work in the summer. I do not get a paycheck in June and July. So, two years ago, I started taking a little bit of money out of my grocery budget each month and putting it to the side so that I would have grocery money for the summer months. Last year, I did $50 a week for 10 weeks, which was $500. This year, I'm doing $75 a month, which is $75 a week for 10 weeks, and that would give me $750. So, I went to the bank, pulled out cash for groceries. That was what, and uh, hair care. So, I only pulled out money for hair care and summer groceries, and monthly preps, which was $25. So $140 is in this wallet, I mean, in this little envelope, and then the gift cards. Now, I do want to say something about the gift cards. Because you have to go through a process of how to set it up, don't go to the grocery store straight from the bank. That's not the best idea. Also, the credit union gift cards, you have to put the exact amount in or it will decline your payment so i i went over my amount so it was 75 dollars on the card so i had to suspend the transaction go to the service desk and the lady um got it back up she put in the 75 dollars. it took it off just fine and then i was able to pay the balance but it won't just let you swipe the card and then you end up paying the balance so you've got at my walmart i'd have to go through a regular checkout line with a person so that was one thing. Um, the second thing is there's some steps. Now the steps were not hard. So when you go in to um, use your card, I didn't do any of this online business. I didn't have time for that. So I just uh, use this green that says to activate your card, do this, and I called the number on the back. So that worked out perfectly. Um, I put my 16 digit number in to activate the card. And then it gave me my PIN number and I was ready to go and do that. But I recommend doing this ahead of the grocery shop. Like, if you don't have time to do that, cash may be your better option. I don't know that I will do this again. I don't know that I won't, especially now that I know I have to be pre-prepped for this. So I can do that. I just wasn't prepped today when I went to the grocery store because I needed to go ahead and do what I needed to do. So, anywho... Let me get my cash out so you can see exactly what I'm putting into this. Then I'll put these into my binder as well, and that will be it for cash envelopes. Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 75 is for summer groceries. And this is what I've been saving for
summer groceries so I can have money each week. And to date, that is 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 4, 10, 20, 30, 40, 450. So I'm almost to my goal of 750. I have $300 more to save, which is four more months of $75 which is how much more work we have. So again, that just goes in here. And then that is done. Then I had um, money for preps, for monthly preps, which is the $25. That's gonna go into my wallet for monthly preps. And then I had $20, oh, I was gonna say, I know I didn't count wrong. $40, this is for a haircut for mom and a haircut for Jackson. So, um, cause we're $20 each for a haircut. So I knew it was going to, that was the, the other $40 that I had. So I only pulled out $140. That was 75 for summer groceries, 25 for preps, and then 20 a piece for me and Jackson to get our hair cut. So I'm going to put those into my envelopes right here in my envelopes. So I'm looking for hair care. Right. And that's going to go in here. My birthday is Saturday, so I'm going to get my hair cut for Saturday. I've already done week one of groceries, so I don't need that one. But I am going to put in weeks two. Which is $75. Week three. And I didn't need all these envelopes and things, but the lady didn't know what I was doing with it. So it's perfectly fine. And then week four. And I'm leaving the green tag on just to prompt me to go in and activate my card because they're not activated yet. And then I think I'm just going to keep one of these because it does have the online instructions in case I want to do it online. So I'm going to just keep one of these in here in case I want to do it online that way. So now I'm just going to do that. This is all trash. So that's all stuffed for the month. This is stuffed for the summer groceries. And this is going in my purse for stock up preps. So there that is. It was pretty simple and easy this time. Um, like I said, with the debit cards, oh, somebody asked me, was there a charge? So it cost me $2 to get the gift card. So $2 per card, so I paid $8. I don't know that I actually want to pay extra money, but I'm giving it a chance for this time. So that on top of the fact that there was some activation fees, act, activation things that needed to happen, no fees. The cards are not refillable, so you have to buy them every time. And I don't know that I want to take an $8 hit on buying cards when that could be $8 for groceries. So this was an experiment totally this month, and we'll see how it goes. But for right now, um, I'm committed because I've already got the cards purchased, right? I should have just did one to see, but it's fine. I've already got it done. I'm already committed. I'm going to leave it the way it is for the month of February, but I more than likely will go back to cash in March. That was just, there's a lot of steps for my busy schedule. I don't have time for those steps. Um, the cash just works out better for me without the extra steps. So anywho, there it is, you guys. Just a quick stuffing of those cash envelopes. If you like the video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you're using a cashless system for groceries, that's not your regular bank card. I didn't want to get my bank card tied up. Because I know me, I'll overspend. Uh, if you're doing that, let me know how you're doing it. I'd love to see what your process is. But this is what we're doing for the month of February. So, anywho, there it is, you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.